the best American politicians offer a appeal that's broader than a personal resume and bolder than self-interest. They tend to unite the country around a patriotism or a sacrifice for human progress or some broader initiative that makes us feel we can do more together than we can do alone. And the Democrats have run so many national candidates that have stood up there on a resume or a set of white papers and been thrashed for it. What we saw over and over in the primary was not only people drawn to Barack Obama, the person, the candidate, but also drawn to the idea, the movement around Barack Obama. His appeal, the process, what he's laying out that he can do if we come together as a country fits that broader theme in American politics. This year's Democratic National Convention is very different uh, than every other convention we've ever seen. With the Invesco Field, a giant gathering of 75,000 plus people, it's going to be more than the usual conventions, a real demonstration of the candidate's network. And on the negative side, of course, uh, we have a different context than the primaries, much sharper attacks, and the really insulting comparisons of political activity and volunteering and activism to being gaga over some flash in the pan rock band, I don't think that's just trying to reduce Obama the candidate. It's clearly also trying to prime the public and voters to have a different set of associations when they see these historic crowds in Denver. The real question for Barack Obama politically is whether this demonstration, this larger gathering, is actually going to help him convince people well beyond the stadium. Senator Obama, of course, usually rises to these occasions. His 2004 convention speech vaulted into the national stage. He has done well every time he's had a top build speech. The expectations are high for the nomination speech. Everybody knows that. But he will surely find a way to speak beyond the stadium, beyond the enthusiasm of the crowds, to make, I think, a very serious, uh, somber at times, and, and probably very heavy speech about the challenges before the country. That's what I'll be looking for uh, as the nation heads down to Denver.